With practice itself checked 7.19, reference mystery one, the following program produces four lines of output. We want to write each line of output below as it would appear on our console. So let's look at this. We are importing this java.util.asterisk, so it's imported a bunch of classes. This is for our array class. We have our function right here, public class reference mystery one. Actually, this is not a function, this is just the class. Um, we have our main function right here, public static void main string args. We declare int to be zero, and then we declare an array as well of size four. And then we increment our x. So now x is one, and a is full of zeros because if we declare an array with size, but we don't put anything in it, it's just all zeros. Now we're gonna pass both of these to our function down here, public side avoid mystery. So we pass in X and we pass in our array. Well, it looks like the first thing that we do is print out our X. Now we know our X is one right here, right? Seems like we increment it right here. So then it should become two. So we have two and then we should have a space and then we are going to have our array print out arrays.to string. And the arrays.to string is basically we have these brackets and then we're going to print out our elements with um, the elements inside of them with commas in between them. So now what are our elements? Well, our elements are all zeros, right? But we have this a of x plus plus. And what this is saying is look at index x and then increment it. So x we know is two. So we're going to be looking at index two, zero, one, two. It's going to be this right here. If we increment it, that should be one. So we have two, zero, zero, one, zero. We've passed only one of the tests, but that's okay because we've only done one of them. Now, what about the second line? We're gonna go back in here and this is the system.out.print line. We're printing X here. Well, X only got incremented inside of here. So outside of here, X is still one. So we're gonna have a one here. Now, our array will be updated everywhere. So we can just copy this here. This is our updated array, right? And we haven't done anything else to it. So really, if we submit this, we pass two out of four tests. Now line three is going to increment X and take us back into our function. If we increment X here and then we increment it again here, we know that it goes from one to two, it should be three here. Now let's put our array in here. We should be updating it we know that X is now three. So we're gonna be updating the third index, which is this back one right here. So if we increment the third index by one, it should just be one here. We passed three out of four tests. Let's go on to line four. In line four, it's just a simple print line. So the array is gonna be the same, but we haven't incremented this X, so it should just be two. That's passing four out of four tests. And that's how we would look at this Praxit self-check 7.19 mystery reference one. This is our code and this would be our output.